So finding that protraction position, shoulder blades are spread wide apart, pinky fingers are kind of hugging in, placing the right hand to your back. I'm gonna keep that right shoulder blade spreading wide, grounding through the right knee, extend the left leg behind me. And then really starting to ground through that right inner knee cap. I wanna keep loading and loading and loading through that right knee. That inner spiral of that right leg creates the rotation in that thoracic rib cage. Breathing fully in the side and back. Long spine, two directions of the spine. I'm gonna keep spreading through my scapulas and collarbones, feeling that serratus, lats, driving down through that right knee. And then keep loading in the knee on the way down. Just slight, I put a slight posterior tilt of my pelvis, but I'm still thinking long through the sit bone. That right inner knee is driving down, it's driving down. That glute is elongating with tone. And then switching to the other side. So I was a little more challenging. I'm gonna find that equal load in the, my hands and knees. And then I'm gonna retract the shoulder blades, letting the chest drop. Try not to lock the elbows. Long arms are straight, but not locked. I'm really feeling that left hand grabbing the floor. Lower the chest and then spread. Instead of just pushing straight up, I'm spreading to feel the width. Right, of the front and the back, upper core. Connecting to breath, long spine, so tail's reaching long. Right, and then loading into that right knee, get really clear, right knee, left hand, and that left leg is free. So right hand comes up my back. I'm gonna really spread that right shoulder blade wide. Keep that width through the upper thoracic body. Right, and driving down through that right knee. It's almost like I'm trying to rotate the right thigh bone inward as I drive down through the right inner knee. The more I get that load through the knee, I'm gonna get glute activation. Okay, we'll try that one more time on the other side. Just testing it from one side to the other. It doesn't take many of these to feel this, right? Find the rib cage stacking up. So I want my ribs to widen upward. Good, and then driving down through that left inner knee. Slight uh, curl of the tail, just a slight. Mm -hmm. Rooting through my right arm, rooting, rooting through the left knee. Keep that driving down and that rooting down on that return. Long spine, I'm still breathing in my side and my back. Right. The more I load inner, in, an inner spiral through that left knee, the glute elongates, activates. I'm going to keep finding that knee weight, and then ribs respond with rotation. It's a natural rotation of the ribs. That's not coming from my back or my chest. It's coming all from the hip.